is an artillery gun is fired twice at an interval of 25 seconds. A motor is moving towards the gun, hears the gun fire at an interval of 24 seconds. If the speed of the sound is 336 meters per second, what is the speed of the car? Right? So an artillery gun is fired twice at an interval of 25 seconds. So you, you, you know, fire a gunshot now and then after 25 seconds you fire the next one. Now a motorist or a person who is moving in a motor or car or whatever, right? He is moving towards the gun. He is moving towards this gun and hears the gun fire at an interval of 24 seconds. So basically this time there are two moving bodies. One is the, you know, I mean, one is the sound which is moving and the second is the motorist. He is moving towards the sound. He is moving towards the gun, right? So there is a relative speed concept basically. Now if the speed of the sound is 336 meters per second, what is the speed of the car? What is the speed of the car? Now try and understand. Let us assume this is the point where we have uh, the motorist and this is the point where we have the gun. Okay. And the distance between these two is let's say D. Alright. Now assume in case number one, in case one, what happens? An artillery gun, an artillery gun is fired twice at an interval of 25 seconds. Let us assume that the motor is not moving. Let us assume that the car is not moving. The car is not moving. What happens? A gun is fired twice at an interval of 25 seconds. You're able to follow. Then a motor is moving towards the gun. Here's the gun fire at an interval of 24 seconds. So the point is, if the motorist is not moving here, in case one, if let's assume the motor is not moving, what happens? He will hear the gunfire shot at this moment. After 25 seconds, he'll hear the second shot. Are you able to follow? That means the sound would take 25 seconds to cover this distance. In case one, the sound, the gunfire which was shot here will take 25 seconds to reach that point. To reach the motorist. Yes or no? I mean, it is traveling at some speed, but I mean, that 25 seconds gap has to be considered here, right? I mean, the gun fires are shot at a gap of 25 seconds. Now, the motor is moving towards the gun. Here's the gun fire at an interval of 24 seconds. In case two, what happens? The motor started moving. And anyway, the sound is moving in this direction. I mean, sound, of course, is moving in all directions, but also in this direction. So, this time, the motorist hears the gun fire at an interval of 24 seconds. At an interval of 24 seconds. So let's assume when they are traveling in this path, let's assume this is the path. Let's assume they have to travel this path. Right? So they'll meet somewhere here. They'll meet somewhere here. Right? Assume they'll meet somewhere here. The simple point to be noted is the sound which started here reached this point in how many seconds? 24 seconds this time because he could hear the gunfire at an interval of 24 seconds earlier when he was not moving the motorist was not moving in case one and let's say this is m dash and g dash case one and case two this is case one where the motor is not moving it takes 25 seconds overall right case two when the motor is moving right what happens m dash and g dash now they meet at this point let's say this is m dash g dash meeting point which happens after what instance 24 seconds which, which happens after 24 seconds. Are you able to follow? The point to be noted here is, see, understand, the time that the sound has taken or, or the distance that the sound has traveled in uh, one second is equal to the distance that the motorist will have to travel in 24 seconds. You are able to follow? And understand that Otherwise, in case one, you know that the sound took 25 seconds. I mean, there, there's a difference of how many seconds? One second. 25 seconds here and 24 seconds in the second case, which means there's a difference of one second. So whatever the motorist could cover in 24 seconds, the sound could cover only in one second. I mean, that's the simple point which you'll have to remember, right? Distance covered. Sorry. distance covered by the motorist in 24 seconds is equal to the distance covered by sound in one second
you are getting it let's say the, the motor is moved this much right let's say the motor is taken 24 seconds to move this distance i mean i'm not saying that this exactly somewhere in the middle there is a meeting point right it is looking imbalanced let me just put it this way let's say they are meeting somewhere here m dash g dash met here motor is covered this distance in how many seconds in 24 seconds the same distance if you understand the same distance the sound would have taken one more second just one more second to cover this because in the case one you know that the sound traveled the entire distance in 25 seconds in this case the sound has traveled only 24 seconds i mean they, they have met here now sound is just one more second to reach that point the original uh, starting point of the motorist so whatever the motorist has covered in 24 seconds the sound could cover in one second just balance that Distance is same. Distance is equal to what? Speed into time. So, speed of the motorist into 24 is equal to distance of sound in one second. Distance is same. Distance is speed into time. Speed of the sound is 336 into 1. So, from this, the speed of the motorist comes out to be what? 336 by 14, which is 240 plus 96. 14 meters per second. 14 meters per second. Alright? So, option 4 will be the answer.